أنا ما أعرف وين رايحين، ما أعرف شنو مهمتنا، ما أعرفك ما أعرفكم كلكم، ليش أسمع كلامك؟ إحنا زلمة زينة Hey guys, um, I'm Taylor. I'm the founder of the National Organization of Italian Americans in Film and Television. A lot of our members have won your grant, so I just want to say thank you. Um, so my question is, after seeing the film, you know, the thing that I found so satisfying about it was the way that there's this real balance between the battle scenes and the human drama and how that's handled. And I think it complemented, you know, each other pretty well. Um, I can't help to think, you know, if this was more of like an American per se production, that drama might have been sacrificed and the fight scenes pumped up. Was this balance something you were striving for when developing the material? Mohammed, do you want to talk a little bit about that? First of all, let me, let me tell you the amount of call that I have been received in the last weeks from Iraqi people, Arab people calling me about the promotion of the film and how proud they are to see like a fully American film with Arabic dialogue and Iraqi dialogue and, and they can see Mosul in the background of that. And this is great for, for the film, for us, the way that how we work in this film. I think Matthew from the beginning, of of when when we were talking about the secret he was really behind the human story and he was really trying to capture this moment of of humanity this moment that you you can see that the um, that the iraqi or the arabic personnel and the character on the film they are normal people because usually in, in a lot of american films you don't see us as normal people. You see us always the bad guys. But in this film, Matthew was really, uh, from the start, from the script, he wanted to show this kind of humanity behind those individuals that try to free the country. We'll say this too, just from my experience of like, you know, first of reading the article and then sort of stepping forward with the story from that point, meaning the original article that the story is based on, the New Yorker article. Um, it's that's the dimension of the story that I found most fascinating because that's you know unless you live in a, have lived through the experience of having your homeland invaded and sort of and violence being committed uh, uh, all around you with everyone you know where you live you know it's such a unique and extreme experience that it's very hard to understand um, and I think to your point. We, we become accustomed to violence in movies, but what we don't know is that about this, about this experience in Mosul is the very specific human story that Muhammad was just talking about. That's really where you grow and uh, come to understand what's happening there is by following the narrative of what's happening to these people on a human level, what's happening to their relationships with those that they love and how are they finding a way to step, take one step forward amidst this sort of very daunting um, sort of and uh, violence around them and that's really where the story comes to life so I think you know for as exciting as the movie is because what these what this SWAT team did standing up against ISIS was truly heroic on a very on a soldier level but really the story really comes to life when you're when you understand what it means to them on a human level um, and that that was I think even more important in this movie than the, than the action. To your point about, you know, the human aspect of the story and that being, you know, the most compelling uh, thing to you all. I think the most compelling scene for me was that, you know, cigarette for ammunition exchange between the major and Colonel. And uh, the scene was, you know, not only added another layer to the major's character, but to the complexities of the world that he was trying to navigate. Um, how important was that scene to you guys? Mohammed, would you talk a little bit about the, the relationship? <laughs> yeah. The scene. This scene is one of the amazing scenes because this kind of thing, when you wrote it as a filmmaker, like as a screenwriter, you will think in, in, in America maybe or another place, you will think it never, never happened. But this kind of thing happened in Iraq or happened in Middle East. This kind of, I call it the humor, uh, the dark humor in, in the wartime. And we have this kind of, uh, we have this kind of moment when you read really under difficult situation and this kind of thing you, you will find it a lot and Matthew he captured it in so in so beautiful way that uh, really when I when I saw when I when, when I read it and when I saw it, uh, the scene you just make me love and at the same time you make me emotional love about 
a human being changing cigarette in, with, the, with the gun, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I, this, this scene too, uh, and maybe Muhammad could speak to this a little bit in a little more detail. It's like, it really got to the sort of subtleties of the social and political politics in the region that I necessarily didn't have as much of an appreciation for before that, understanding the way that there are a variety of different points of view and ethnic groups and religious groups that all have can variously sort of like be in conflict with one another one another or allies with one another and i think the subtleties of that scene muhammad was very helpful i think in in sort of fleshing out the subtle textures of who those people were and what their what their real conflict was with one another uh, you know we we grew up on um uh international cinema we lived down the street from the cinema text so was a very important part of our uh um inspiration as storytellers. And, you know, having worked on these Marvel films, we've been fortunate enough to travel the world many times to promote them. And we're always fascinated by um, regional storytelling, the regional stories that we find. Um, we do think that there is a um, cyclical nature to Hollywood stories that, uh, that can become incredibly redundant. And, you know, finding uh, and celebrating other artists who have different points of view, uh, inclusive of actors uh, like Suhail, uh, who is literally uh, as good as an actor you could possibly find, and giving him an opportunity to shine uh, in a part um, is is not only gratifying for us but necessary um, because of our fortunate position in the business. Um, and so I think. Um, you know, those are the kinds of things that get us out of bed every day now are um, finding and celebrating, um, you know, diff different voices in storytelling um, and, and voices that excite us. <laughs> <laughs>